In last week's episode, I was touring around the island of Flores, recording a lot of the natural beauty of the island. And in this week, I'm touring again, but this time I'm focusing on the distinctive craftsmanship that you see in the building on the island, and in particular, the stonework that the islanders seem to just excel in. Enjoy the video. So this is an example of some dry stone walls uh, made in the traditional fashion and these houses were the original houses and they've been rebuilt now and repurposed for uh, tourists but it's an exceptional job very high quality and over the next uh, few videos I just want to show you how good that quality is. Here I am with Goretti, one of the curators at this marvelous village. Goretti, can you tell us about the village? Yes, sure. So uh, this village is an old one. Uh, a lot of people lived here and before the 60s, but uh, unfortunately they had to emigrate it for better conditions of life. Uh, so they abandoned the village. The village were very degraded, but um, my boss, uh, he thought that it would be a good idea to try to rebuild one and people actually like it a lot. So he rebuilt another one and another one and now we have 17 houses um, to sell and to, to, um, to rent and we have uh, little houses for two people and we have the bigger one for 12 people. And we have our restaurant um, that it's working only in the summer, but we are trying to change that. Uh, now, where did you grow up? I grew up in here, in Fajangrant, the next village. It's, a, it's an absolutely beautiful place. So, <laughs> I landed in Lages. And it's nice, but it's not as nice as Faje Grande. <laughs> Faje Grande have a wonderful waterfall and a lot of beaches and restaurants. So um, it's a very beautiful place to live and to be raised, actually. Now, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would you want to live? Right here. Oh, perfect.
join me next week as I prepare Wave Rover for the next leg of the voyage and head out to sea again.